now. Yes. Hello. Is it working? Yes. Happy Monday, everybody. Here's my original 7 t-shirt. It's 6.02 currently. Oh, it's under 40. It hit like 44 today, but don't worry. I'm wearing pants. There they are. Currently, it's 38. And that's the time and temperature. It's another week. It's February. February the 6th. Oh, boy. You know what that means. Tomorrow in Minnesota, it's uh, Election Day. Or it's Super Tuesday. Or whatever they call it. Tomorrow are the caucuses. So we're going to caucus. I'm going to go caucus with the Republicans again. Against my better judgment. Just because uh, it's a lot quieter than caucusing with the Democrats. Although, given that it's a foregone conclusion for the Democrats, I don't know how many people actually would be showing up, but they still have a bigger building than the Republicans do. Democrats get a nice big church, and the Republicans get a little classroom at the school. But Saturday, man, everybody wanted to talk to me and find out who I was going to support and if I was going to go and was I really going to go? And no, really, are you going to be there? Can we count on your support? So, I don't know. 2008, I went out for Ron Paul and I ended up serving as a delegate and I ended up going to some really boring conventions. Well, not boring, just long. And when there's a bunch of people there who have opinions you don't particularly agree with anyway. It's just kind of insufferable to sit through, but... I told them if they couldn't find anybody else, I would volunteer once again to get some delegates elected for Ron Paul. And knowing how well that worked out last time, we sent three or four delegates out of our nine or twelve that Minnesota had. And because Minnesota was hosting the convention in 08, they had to you know, put on a united front, and Tim Pawlenty had to sound good. So when he announced who was voting for who, he announced eight votes for McCain or whatever, and then that was it. He he didn't mention that all the other people were out there for Ron Paul, so they were kind of ignored on the TV show, which told me that Palente was really a fan of the big house that is the Republican Party, and he really wanted to include everybody, be very inclusive, and yeah, so didn't, didn't really make Palente a guy I was going to really worry about. And then what did he do? He quit too early. He probably could have been the nominee if he was stuck around, but... Ah, Republicans. Ah, you're so stupid. The party I belong to, the Libertarians, don't even caucus, so that's how I end up having to find some other home for that night. And I could just go watch the Kings game, by which I mean uh, the Kings-Timberwolves game. Now Kevin Love's been suspended for two games, so... It's another reason to go caucus, I guess, but... Hopefully this one will not take as long as it did four years ago, and I'll get out in time to still catch the second half. We'll see. How about that Super Bowl? It was pretty good. Um, it was only through dumb luck that I picked the winning team, though. That game really could have gone either way, and as it usually is, one or two plays by one or two people, and it was an entirely different outcome. But for a while we were hoping to get a second safety, and then it would be tied, 17-17. But that didn't happen either. But one of the questions that Giants fan Staggerly asked me, what were my thoughts on uh, the go for the field goal logic? And I'm not sure what he's referring to. I guess it was the deal where the Patriots could have run down the clock and then just kicked the field goal. But we've seen... Quite frequently this season, that those field goals, as automatic as they seem like they should be, aren't always automatic. So it's probably better to just get those points, to get as many points as possible. Now, the deal where what's-his-name stopped and then fell backwards into the uh, end zone, that seemed kind of silly because you either go straight through or actually stop on the one-yard line like you're planning to do. But in that situation, I would say go ahead and take the points, and it's better to be ahead. And I, I actually under even I even understood the going for two thing because whether you're up by four or five it doesn't matter, but in that event that you end up going up by six, then there's that one in a million chance that even if 
the Patriots were to get a touchdown, that they would somehow miss the extra point. And we've seen that happen in the past, too. But all of it was moot. doesn't matter. It was 21-17, which is, I didn't pick a score, but I did pick the Giants, so good for me, I guess. I have no money changed hands on that pick, so here's to you. Super Bowl-related questions. Uh, a couple more from Staggerly. What are your thoughts on commercials? This year's commercials sucked. Not entertaining. And that whole thing about Clint Eastwood for Fiat, that's nuts, man. I don't know. Of course, is it better than Eminem for... Well, anyway. What were your thoughts on Madonna at halftime? The problem with Madonna at halftime was they hyped Madonna at halftime by showing us clips of Madonna from 30 years ago. So I wanted Madonna from 30 years ago to show up. She did not. It was mostly, I was. you can't say inoffensive, because that chick showed her middle finger. <gasps> and then she pulled out a gun and started shooting it. Or maybe she didn't. I can't remember anymore. What are my thoughts on the WWE bringing back halftime heat? No, it's, this isn't, that kind of match can't happen in 2010. It, it, you know, we wish it hadn't happened in 1999 or whatever it was, because it was all good except for the shot of the point of view of the forklift cam coming down on rock. I mean, that totally blew the any credit, uh, credibility of disbelief. Sports like, I don't know, killed kayfabe. And, you know, if you even if you're kind of into the match and kind of like, okay, I can see this happening, where they cut to that shot, I just happened to have a camera there on the forklift. No, they didn't. It was pre-planned, and it sucked, and it was overacting. And I even think uh, in his book, where's the book? It's up there somewhere. Yeah, you see it? I think Mankind said the same thing. It's like the match was great up until that last shot, and he knew that that just sunk it. And if he knew it, how come he couldn't get somebody to fix it? Well, because he was a wrestler and an employee, and that just wasn't going to happen. But anyway, that wasn't what you asked. Cerebus wants to know what I ate yesterday. Well, who doesn't want to know what I ate yesterday? We went to uh, Kim's husband's house, my brother-in-law, and he's a bit of a gourmand, and he will get exotic items and follow a theme. So from New York, he went to Katz's Delicatessen online and ordered a big old pastrami, which he cut up and put into sandwiches, which was delicious. For New England, there was a nice uh, crock pot full of New England clam chowder, also delicious. I tweeted a photo of the guacamole field. I don't know if you saw it. You can go back on Twitter and find it if you want. And that was for dipping. There were tortilla strips and an endless supply of bugles, because it turns out that Joel's wife really likes bugles. My sister-in-law-in-law, in -law, maybe? So we had a lot of bugles. And there are also beers of various types and sizes and alcoholic degrees and specialties and prices. And it was a good time and much was consumed. And there were so many other things that I can't remember. I did homemade Chex Mix, the 1970s recipe, so it was good and bland and didn't have a lot of funky ingredients in it. Bagel chips do not belong in Chex Mix. I'm sorry, they just don't. Uh, there were some cookies, there were some brownies, there were some fancy walnuts that were covered in some kind of candy spice, and there were pickled veggies, beans, carrots. Um, yeah, so what didn't I have? From Giants fan Pie Man, Aaron Rodgers looked really nice in his suit during pregame. Shut up. Uh, Staggerly also said your Super Bowl wisdom is noted. Again, dumb luck that I picked the game, but... I guess I'm one for one for picking stuff in videos, so that's good, right? At least when it comes to football games. Oh, no, wait. I'm, I didn't get all the playoff games right. Never mind. Uh, JJ Dean said, If I had to rate my surprise to your Juicy Lucy answer on a scale from 1 to 10, I would call it around a minus 43. So that's like the opposite of surprise, or the absolute lack of surprise, or am I misunderstanding your math? I think... I'm not sure. I don't know what, what the inverse of surprise is. You expected I was going to answer that, but you expected it so much that I don't even know why you asked the question. 
or maybe not. But that's 10 minutes, so I'm going to stop. So if you have any other questions, please feel free to tack them on to the thread over at the W, the w the dash w com, or you can leave a comment on YouTube during the YouTube comment thing. Uh, you can send me an email, or you can find me on Twitter and tweet me. Uh, you can do all that stuff and to find all that stuff out, head over to crz.net, where I am and where all that information is, making me one of the easiest people to stock online. Good night. I'll see you tomorrow for caucus day.